Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are doing another mini food. This is part of a bigger playlist, so if you've missed uh, any of others, grab the popcorn, uh, just like all the other playlists, and have a little look. Uh, there's a link up here and down below. And if you leave a little request uh, for a future one, maybe have a little look there and see if I've actually done it already before asking, which does happen quite a lot. But today we are attempting to minuscule down uh, the BLT, the old Barry Looks tangy or the bacon lettuce tomato sandwich absolute stonker one of my favorites i've actually done a, a genuine full-size version of that which was gorgeous uh, on the channel before so you might want to try that out if you're feeling inspired but we're gonna mini it so let's crack on oh and uh, for the purposes of the location of the pugs during this video they are just lying down some baby baby nice so as always with the mini food uh very kindly provided by one of you guys chopping board and the winnie the pooh rip off naff plate thing which many of you randomly actually have uh the aim is to make the uh blt fit on that plate and normally uh, it does so um, i'm very excited about this we've got the uh little tools a uh, little reminder again that that is uh not second hand it hasn't been used on people's feet and stuff and also our ever-growing hamper actually i've been sent about 10 of these by the way, so thanks for that. Rolling pin, most amazing sieve ever, and some other bits and bobs that I don't really need today, like jugs and stuff, and whoever need to do a coffee, but it's all about the BLT today. So then, uh, BLT. Now the most excited thing for me today, obviously we need bacon, lettuce, tomato, which we're gonna cook up. I bought this bread from the supermarket, but it's actually sold crustless. Now there's that myth, isn't there, that uh, bread with crusts on makes your hair curly. That doesn't work because I eat loads of crusts and I don't look like Annie. So uh, there we go. This is going to be the form of our sandwich. It's going to cut up into two even sized squares. Well, I've just never seen crustless bread before. It's kind of like a new invention to me. Just getting a rough idea of how big I can go. Okay, cool. I want to try and make it as big as I can. And that sounds really weird for mini food, but I do want it, you know, I want to make it worthwhile. Just check that. Ooh, that's a little too big. How about that? All right, that's pretty good. It's actually quite um, spongy bread as well, isn't it? I just want to just want to make it a little bit flatter. There we go. Loving that. Actually, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just want to get just a teeny bit flatter. That's all. Yeah, that works. I want to use a very British phrase here to say, oh, crumbs, I'm getting crumbs everywhere. So there you go, folks. If you're not from England, you've learned a very British phrase there. It's kind of like a very gentle sort of like, oh, no, crumbs. Okay, use it, especially if you're gangsters. Crumbs, man. There we go. Nice. So uh, let's get your rolling pin again. I wasn't intending on using you today, rolling pin, but, uh, you know, I think my kids kind of want you back. But nice, nice, nice. A little bit off there. Brilliant. There we go. So for the lettuce bit, um, over here in my fridge, we have got some leftover lettuce. Uh, let me show you. We basically had a salad last night and I was like, ooh, I can use this. So uh, that's where that's going to come from. I'm just going to finely chop that. As for the tomato though, boom. <laughs> I don't have uh, a tomato. Uh, I could have got a cherry tomato, but again, we just happen to have these in the fridge. So I don't want to waste uh, buying unnecessary tomatoage. So I'm going to take a little, I'm actually going to try and take a, just a, a wedge out of the side of the tomato and leave the rest of it intact. So I mean, there we go. That is plenty. That's all I need. I'm probably going to put that back into the uh, fridge now and freak Mrs. Barry out. Just wrap it in some tin foil and uh, yeah, so I'm just cutting it into strips ready for the minute. It's always difficult to judge how much I need for these things. All right, going to halve it a little bit like that. See, that's a bit more tomatoey. It's a definitely a tomato. You guys seen it? So I just put it on my spare plate like that. Tomato is done. Right. Ooh. There we go. Always tricky to balance that. We're going to do our bread first. That's really hot. So I'm just keeping my eye on it. I don't think it's going to take that long to catch. Ha! Ah, very hot as well. Ooh. The edges are just starting to brown a little bit. Edging closer now, folks. You can see it's just starting to catch on the sides. Look at this. Oh, wow. Check that out. Come on, baby. 
Come on. Do you know what? I'm actually happy with that. I'm taking it off the heat because it's really, really hot today for some reason. All right, it's one piece. <laughs> and the other. Yes. For the bacon, I'm not going to risk it too much. So I'm going to cook a larger piece, really. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of oil. And I'm going to chuck in my bacon. And this is not taking long at all, but I really want it crispy. So I'm going to cook it for quite a bit. And all of a sudden, look, as if by magic. Hello, mate. <laughs> oh, nice. Come on, baby. All right, I'm happy with that. Don't know if my pan is. <laughs> so just while that's cooling a little bit and I slice it up, I'll get my uh, lettuce ready. Nice. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. Awesome. All right, that's nice and easy to handle now as well. So let's use our tweezers to try and hold this in place. <laughs> uh, well, actually, that works, doesn't it? Just going to pull stuff off, just going to tear bacon. Yeah, yeah. That's my bacon rashes. I was going to like cut it into chunks a little bit like that, more strips stuff, but hey, this, this is going to do, folks. This is going to do. Ran out of plates, so I'm just going to put it on my sieve to hold it for now. But I think we're ready to build it. So here comes our plate. Cha-ching. First piece of bread down. Mayonnaise on the bottom piece of bread. It's quite a bit, so I'm going to scrape some off. Just want to, yeah. Lettuce. Tomato. Ooh, this is really fiddly. Tomato. Bacon. I've taken it off the plate for a minute because it was getting really curvy. I couldn't really get to it. There we go. That's better. Bacon. Check that out. It's really funny that I'm using tweezers, actually, because when they do um, professional cookbooks, professional, um, so things like um, food styling, a lot of it's done with tweezers or they put cotton wool in the microwave soaked in water just to steam it and get it really hot. And they'll make a soup photo look red hot, even though it's cold, by putting the cotton wool behind it. Mm. A bit more mayo on the underside of our lid. Just a reminder folks, if you're enjoying the video, uh, don't forget I'm on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, Insta, Snapchat, all that stuff, uh, at my Virgin Kitchen. So here we go. Let's place this down. The mayo is gonna act as a bit of a glue and we have made <laughs> a little BLT. Right, let's get it on the uh, plate, see if that was worked. All right then folks, let's see if we have done it. There is our Winnie the Pooh plate and in comes, oh yes. It's fine. Our BLT, check that out. I feel like I need to put it on one of the flat plates actually. Just because of the curved edges, you can't quite see it too well. This one's a teeny bit flatter, so you can get a better view of it. See that? <laughs> Love it. And as always, uh, for scale purposes, and to hopefully prove I'm not using a really highly magnified lens, there is a tangerine <laughs> for scale. Mini BLT all done. All right, here we go. Tasting time. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I love a BLT. Just like the real thing. Absolutely stonking. So that's it, folks. As I say, remember to check out the rest of the mini food uh, playlist and then uh, let me know down below any other mini food attempts you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. And I will see you again next time.